Hey YouTube and WordPress, I'm back with another mechanical pencil review and this time I'm going to be reviewing the Twisby Precision Mechanical Pencil. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware of Twisby as a manufacturer, um, they're a Chinese company. And let me give you a little rundown real quick about how I'm going to handle the video here today because there's a lot that I want to cover and I don't want to make the video too long. I'll talk a little bit about the history of Twisby as a company. Um, I'll review the pencil itself and in doing so I'll compare it to several other mechanical pencils that are in the same class. And then this is going to cause a big shake up to the top 10 and that'll be sort of the end of the video here. And so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so what's what's the deal with this Twisby mechanical uh, pencil manufacturer? Well, they're Chinese manufacturer and the Chinese aren't really known for producing mechanical pencils or, or writing instruments. Um, the Germans uh, are known for Rotring uh, and uh, Faber-Castell and you have the Japanese which have a wide variety of, of uh, brands of mechanical pencils, um, Pilot, Pentel, um, Uni being chief amongst those. And uh, Twisby isn't really uh, one that's well known amongst uh, pen and pencil aficionados until they start learning about them. So what's the deal with Twisby? Well, uh, originally they were called Tashin Manufacturing and they were an OEM. OEM stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer. In other words, they made parts for other companies to use in the other company's products. And they did that for 40 years. And then in the late 2000s, they decided, hey, we really want to make writing instruments on our own. We want to actually do our own thing rather than just provide for other companies. And so what they did is they took a uh, story about uh, one of the emperors in China, uh, Emperor Qi Anlong, and I will uh, post the, the phonetic spelling of that in the video. And uh, that emperor was sort of known for creating this masterpiece of uh, writing called uh, calligraphy called the Hall of Three Cultures. And in uh, Mandarin, that's Sen Wen Tong. Uh, so the abbreviated initials are SWT. And so they took that phrase, uh, meaning Hall of Three Cultures, and they reversed the initials so that instead of SWT, it was TWS. And then they added the uh, letters BI at the end, and B in Mandarin means writing instrument. So you have Hall of Three Cultures, this very uh, famous reference to calligraphy and fine writing, and then the actual uh, word for reference to a writing instrument at the end, and that's where Twisby was uh, formed. And they have three offices. They have an office in Taipei City in Taiwan. They have an office in Zhengzhou City in uh, Jiangsu, which is a province uh, that contains Shanghai, and uh, Zhengzhou City is located um, just north of that, um, north of Shanghai. And then they also have an office in Gardena, California. That's sort of where their uh, North American operation uh, works out of. And so... Uh, Twisby is new to both the uh, fountain pen and mechanical pencil world, but they're really dedicated to bringing quality writing instruments. Um, we're used to, you know, like the cheap Bic mechanical pencils, which Bic is a French company, but they manufacture all their pencils in China. And we're used to Papermate, which is owned by Sanford, and Sanford uh, manufactures all of its pencils in China. Okay? Um, and... Uh, so Twisby was really interested in hitting that finer quality mechanical pencil and fountain pen market. And they're very serious about doing it because their products have lifetime warranties. Uh, they guarantee their products for a lifetime. If anything breaks, uh, you can call them and they will repair it. And uh, just by uh, reading around uh, online on the fountain pen network, uh, apparently their reputation for customer service is really good and really well deserved because they will work with people. And so in this day and age of globalization and everybody turning out products and not necessarily being a guarantee that they're high quality and you got to talk to a robot instead of a human being, uh, Twisby has been working really, really hard to uh, change that perception, especially of Chinese companies uh, in this age of globalization and, and cheap labor and, and cheap products. And so my hat is off to them in that regard. And so uh, what about the pencil itself? Well, the pencil itself comes in this attractive box. Okay, let's open it up and see what we get inside. I'm sorry, I had taken it out, but there is this layer of foam on top of the actual pencil. And then when you take off the layer of foam, you have this really attractive setup of the pencil itself and a whole bunch of uh, accoutrement that you get with uh, this Twisby pencil. So let's take it out and, and uh, check out what we get in the package. And it's packed really tightly in this foam, so it's really unlikely to get damaged in shipping. You can see that it has an octagonal uh, design, so it's really easy to set it up. 
so you can get it to look the way that you want it to look. And uh, everything is packed so well that it's a little difficult for me to get it out of the case, but that just means it's not going to shift in shipment. And so you can see that it comes with uh, three extra really long erasers, and I'll talk about that in the review here in a second. And it comes with uh, some extra lead. The lead sort of feels like it is softer than a standard HB to me. I don't really know what the grade of the lead is, and it's kind of difficult to know that, but it just feels like a softer lead to me. And then, of course, you have the extra, uh, the actual pencil, which I'm pretty sure is of aluminum uh, construction. It's a brushed aluminum. And it has all metal interior, which is, you know, rare amongst any uh, pencil, uh, let alone one at this price point, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And it comes in 0.5 millimeter and 0.7 millimeter. It comes in uh, matte silver and it comes in uh, matte black. And I decided to get this one in silver, although after working with this pencil already, I can already tell that I'm going to want to get the black version of it. Uh, and... It, um, this one is retractable. It comes in retractable or fixed sleeve, which if you're worried about the retractable tip first, don't be. I'll talk about that in a second. And if you'd rather have a fixed sleeve, it does come in a fixed sleeve. So it comes in uh, those uh, different varieties. It comes in two different colors. It comes in two different lead sizes, and it comes in two different um, uh, lead sleeve versions. And so this version is the retractable sleeve version. Okay, so we're extending out that retractable sleeve here, and it feels really solid to me. You know, one of the big criticisms of retractable sleeves is does it feel wobbly? And there are a lot of pencils that I have where it does feel wobbly. Um, and this one does not feel wobbly at all. You can see that it has a knurled grip, like a lot of pencils. And this knurled grip is what I would classify as like a medium knurling. It's not too smooth. It's not too rough. It's sort of in between. I think now would be a good time to make some comparisons with other pencils because there are a lot of pencils that are very similar to this. Uh, first, the one that I want to compare it to is the Rotring Rapid Pro, okay, which Rotring just came out with um, just a little while, a couple years ago. And this is an extendable lead sleeve. Okay, the Rote Ring pencils are made out of brass, very high quality construction. I give this one the highest quality construction of any of my pencils. I don't have a Rote Ring 600 or 800, which are kind of the classic amongst the Rote Ring line, uh, but uh, the Rote Ring Rapid Pro is awesome. I highly recommend it, and of course, its functionality is very similar to the Twisby in that it has that retractable lead sleeve. The knurling on the Rote Ring Rapid Pro is rougher than the Twisby. But not too rough, because if we compare this to the Alvin Draftmatic, okay, the Alvin Draftmatic has one of the rougher knurlings, and I like it. Okay, a lot of people don't like this rough knurling. I really like it because it means for a really solid grip, and if I ever need a really solid grip when I'm writing with a pencil, I'm going to go to the Alvin Draftmatic. A lot of people find it scratchy and they don't like it, but I still recommend the Draftmatic. It's in my top ten. Uh, it's sort of like this. Uh, it's I think it's modeled after um, the Koinor uh, Rapidomatic. And that's like one of the top three of all time drafting pencils that people really, really love. Same, similar design. And then we can also compare it to the Uni Shift Pipe Lock, which is also in my top 10. You can sort of see a theme here. Similar model pencils that I put in my top 10. Has an extendable lead sleeve that has this unique twisting mechanism to it. Okay. The Uni Shift at a $16 price point isn't as high quality as a lot of these other pencils are. It has a little bit more play in the extendable lead sleeve. But like a lot of Uni pencils, ugh, tiny little itty bitty, completely and utterly useless eraser. Okay, there's also a lot of play in the mechanism when you erase with the Uni Shift. And so um, it still deserves to be in my top 10, but it's at the bottom of the top 10 because uh, uh, mostly of this big eraser problem that it has that is the big functional problem with it. Uh, in terms of the erasers on the other pencils, Alvin, you know, similar to the Pentel Z2-1, although I don't think it's the similar fit. Um, Rotoring Rapid Pro, okay, drafting eraser, tiny little drafting eraser. It's stocked in there pretty tightly, but you can see that it's small, okay. And then uh, one pencil that I haven't brought out yet is the uh, Pentel Graph Gear 1000, sort of a classic. Okay, a lot of people swear by it. Really easy to get here in the United States. My big problems with the Graph Gear is that um, it's really heavy in the hand. 
It really creates a lot of uh, fatigue when you're riding with it. The knurling on the grip, super smooth. Okay, even with these little rubber nubby things, I just don't feel like I have a good grip on the Pentel Graph Gear when I'm riding with it. It's like this combination of heaviness and too smooth of a knurling uh, makes it uh, kind of a deal breaker for me. Um, eraser, you know, classic Pentel Z2-1, which is a great eraser for a drafting pencil. But then let's compare all these to the Twisby. Okay, there's very little play in the erasing mechanism when you're erasing with the Twisby, and the Twisby eraser keeps going and going and going and going and going. It's not like a lot of mechanical pencils where it's like an extendable twist mechanism, uh, like the uh, Pentel Twist Erase GT, for example, uh, or the Tombow Monograph Shaker, but... It's there. If you really need it on the go, it's there. And with the pencil coming with those refill erasers and the extra lead, it's just a really good value for the price point of $25. Solid pencil, pocket clip, solid, really attractive styling, great to look at. Okay, I, you know, this is just a great pencil. And I expected it to be good, but I didn't expect it to be this good. And so that was a big pleasant surprise for me. The only criticism I would have, even though the internal mechanism of the Twisby Precision is all metal as well, which is another great quality feature that you don't tend to get in mechanical pencils at all, let alone it being very, very rare. If I were to level a criticism at the Twisby, it would be that the click advancement sounds a little tinny. Not as precise as like a pen, uh, pen tell or a rote ring click mechanism. Um, and so that would be my only major criticism of it. But let's go ahead and run down the review of it real quick. Starting with where I always start writing experience. Writing experience, I'm going to give it a great. Okay, the knurling is a perfect balance between not too sharp and not too smooth. Um, the weighting is just wonderful for it. It reminds me a lot of the Rote Ring Rapid Pro, which is just a solid pencil in terms of its overall feel in the hand. Okay, just feels great in my hand. And so great on the writing experience for the Twisby. For quality, I'm going to give it a great. Probably not quite the Rote Ring Rapid Pro quality, which I rate as superb, which I only give out a superb rating to a single pencil. And so great for quality, though. Uh, if not for the little tinniness on the clicking of the Twisby, you know, it would be right up there with the Row Ring Rapid Pro, which gets the suburb, superb, but still very great quality, and you get that 100% satisfaction lifetime warranty on it, so that's great. For features, going to give it a great. Okay, it wins out on a lot of pencils in this styling based upon the eraser. Okay, because it's a retractable lead sleeve. As a teacher, when I'm walking around my classroom, I kind of need to have both of my hands free so that I can gesture with them and having animated discussions with students. As a science teacher, I need to be able to grab things if they get dangerous. I can't be walking around with a hypodermic needle mechanical pencil in my hand, but if I put that in my pocket, it's going to ruin my pocket. So retractable is really important for me as a teacher. I know many people are going to prefer those fixed lead sleeves, and a fixed lead sleeve usually is much more solid feeling in your hand than a retractable. But I don't detect any play in the mechanism with the Twisby at all. I can't speak for you if you are in a specialized craft. You might be able to detect that better than I can. I don't know. But for features, the Twisby has all the wonderful features that you would expect from a retractable pencil with uh, the solid pocket clip, and that great eraser is really what sets it apart from a lot of pencils within this price point, uh, within this range, and within si these similar features. None of the other pencils that I have um, that are retractable have that solid eraser and the same combination of features and quality. And then for cost, it is at the very top of my moderate range. Okay, it's uh, 25 USD, and the price is consistent across sites. It's consistent on Amazon. It's consistent on Goulette pens. I believe they I believe they don't sell it on Tokyo Pen Shop. It's available at Cult Pens if you live in the UK or in Europe. Uh, but at Cult Pens, probably because of shipper shipping and you know VAT uh, value added tax, um, 
it comes in at I think 28 pounds, which is much more expensive because you you know you take U.S. dollars and multiply by about 1.5 or 1.6 depending upon the day. Um, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got that backwards. I always get it backwards. You take British pounds sterling and multiply times 1.5 ish or so, and you'll get U.S. dollars. So um, it's a little bit more expensive from cult pens, but it is available there in all the different varieties. Um, I'm just kind of smitten with it. It's everything that I'm looking for in a pencil. And I got to uh, put a shout out to my friend Craig. Um, Craig recommended the Twisby to me, and he was totally 100% correct. And this is going to cause a major shakeup in my top 10. And I think that my top 10 is in, has been in need of a shakeup because as I've been learning more about mechanical pencils, and the different features and what I like and what I don't like. Remember, the top 10 is for me. It's not for other people. I mean, I, if, if you're informed by the top 10, I'm happy for you, but I blog and I do videos because it's sort of an outlet for me, for my hobbies, and if I can help some people along the way, great, but I'm not doing this to please anybody, okay? So if I help you, awesome. I'm glad that I helped you. Um, but with regards to my top 10... Uh, there are a lot of pencils that I really, really like, but that I don't really think have the features that can compete with some of the ones that I have come across recently. And so I'm about to do a major shakeup of the top 10. Um, up on the video right now, I'm going to post my original top 10, starting with the Pentel Sharp Carry. And basically, you know, you can read down the line. I'm not going to read to you. Okay, that's my top 10. And those are those were my original top 10s up until this moment. And those are all great pencils. Don't get me wrong. But for my new top 10, I'm going to do a little bit of shake up and I think it's finally time for my writing experience for the Graph Gear 1000 to catch up with it and I am removing the Graph Gear 1000 for my top 10. Don't get me wrong, it's a high quality pencil that is readily available for stores here in the US. It's kind of a classic. Um, a lot of people swear by it. It has a lot of great features. It's a solidly constructed pencil. It's got a great mechanism. But... I've learned so much about mechanical pencils and what I like and what I don't like. I just can't forgive the fact that the Pentel Graph Gear 1000 just doesn't feel right in my hand. And, and I just can't apologize for the fact that my personal experience with it doesn't seem to match other people's. Um, I would never not recommend it to someone. Um, if you're interested in collecting mechanical pencils, it's really easy to get into your collection, and it probably should be in your collection. It just doesn't do it for me the same way that the Uni Kuratoga doesn't do it for me. But both of those pencils are often cited as, you know, being real positive things for a lot of collectors. So keep that in mind. So what's the new top 10 going to look like? Well, the new top 10, we're going to put the Rotring Rapid Pro right at the top. It has this awesome combinations of feature and quality and writing experience. Um, there's not a lot that compares to it. And I feel pretty solid as putting the Rotary Rapid Pro as my top pencil at this stage. This is where I'm going to get a little surprised. Um, and maybe you might be surprised too. I'm going to put the Twisby Precision at my number two. This pencil is going in at my number two in my top 10. It just is like the Rotary Rapid Pro, a total package. Um, Rotary Rapid Pro is brass construction. The Twisby I think is aluminum. Um, I think I prefer the knurling on the Rotring Rapid Pro a little bit better than the, the knurling on the Twisby, but they're both awesome pencils. And uh, then we'll follow it up with um, basically the exact same order that everything else was in, uh, except for I'm taking the Pentel Graph Gear 1000 off the list. So Pentel Sharp Carry, Pilot S20, it's basically the exact same list it was before. We're shifting everything down. We're getting rid of the Graph Gear 1000. And so uh, if you have the means and the ability and you can pick up a Twisby, Twisby Precision and a retractable feature and having an eraser, even though you probably have a dedicated eraser, if having that extra eraser available for you is important to you, it's kind of really hard to argue against this one at its price point for its quality. I got to hand it to Twisby Corporation. They have done a phenomenal job with this pencil. It's just, uh, it's a work of art, in my opinion, in the pencil world. And so I highly recommend it to you. So with this video has already gone really, really long. It's going to take a really long time for it to upload hours and hours and hours. And so uh, check out the Twisby Precision. It's a fine pencil and it's deserving in any collection. And I think I'm going to pick up the black one uh, when I have the means to do so. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.